I am Saud. By the end of this video you will learn how to sort numbers using radix sort. Let's say I have an array consisting of these numbers and I want to sort this array using radix sort. First see which is the largest number in the array. Out here it is 176. It consists of 3 digits so make all the other numbers of, of 3 digits. So just place a 0 before the other numbers. A 0 before 44, 80. 2 zeros before 9. 1 0 before 15 and 1 0 before 76. The concept here is to traverse each number from the LSD to the MSD. So for 80, the LSD will be 0 and the MSD will be 0, that is the 0. For 176, the LSD is 6, the number in the units place. The MSD is the number in the hundreds place. So it is 1, this is the MSD and 6 is the LSD. So I'll uh, travel each number from the right to the left. And this is if you want to sort the array in an ascending order. If you want to sort the array in a descending order, you'll travel from the left to the right. Next is, depending on the number of uh, digits that we have in the greatest number, make those many rows. So for, uh, for this, we have uh, three digits, so we'll make three rows. Now, m now mark the LSD in uh, every number. So 6 for 76, 5 for 15, 9 for 9, 0 for 80. 40, uh, 4 for 44 and 6 for 176. The next thing we shall do is we will create a sequence of numbers that will have the same LSB. We will start from 0. So for 0 we have uh, we just have one number that is 80. Next is uh, 1. For 1 we don't have any number. For 2 we don't have a number. For 3 we don't have any number. For 4 we have 44. 4 is the uh, LSB and uh, for this LSB we have uh, just one number that is 44. The next is 5. For 5 we have 15. This is basically the sequence of numbers that have the same uh, LSB. Next is 6. For 6 we have two numbers 176 and 76. Write 176 first because it comes first in the uh, array. Yeah, I'll improve my handwriting next time. <laughs> next is uh, 7. We don't have any number for 7. We don't have a number for 8. We have... Uh, we don't have a number for 9 too. No, we have 9 for 9. So for 9 we have 0, 0, 9. Well, one third of our solution is complete. Now we'll consider... We'll consider the next uh, significant bit. So we have 7 over here for 76, 1 for 15, uh, 0 for 9, 8 for 80, 4 for 44 and 7 for 76. Again we will uh, do the same thing. So for 0 we have uh, we have just one number that is 0, 0, 009. For 1 we don't have, uh, yeah for 1 we have a number 15. So for 1 we have uh, 15. For 2 we don't have any number, for 3 we don't have a number, for 4 we have 44. For 5 we don't have a number, for 6 we don't have a number, for 7 we have two numbers 176 and 76. We will write in the same order that is there in uh, this uh, array. For 8 we have a number that is 80. Well with this all our 6 numbers are complete. For 9 we don't have a number. With this 2 third of a solution is complete. Now for the last row, I mean uh, the last column, we will consider the most significant bit or the most significant digit. So 0 for 76, 0 for 15, 0 for 9, 0 for 80. 0 for 44 and 1 for 76 for 176 we'll do the same thing again for 0 we have quite a lot of numbers for 0 but we'll uh, go in the order that is there in this uh, array so for 0 the uh, first number is 9 in this even 15 comes in uh, 0 
next is 44 176 has 1 so it won't come 76 has 0 next is 80 when uh, 80 uh, has 0 as the selected bit the next is 1 and for 1 we just have one number that is 176 176 and this is our solution 9, 15, 44, 76, 80 and 176 so go in the right order 9 first then 15 then 44 76 80 and 176 and this is our sorted array this array has been sorted in the ascending order if you want to do this in the descending order then start from uh, go from the left to the right instead of going from the right to the left for every uh, digit this was sorting using radix sort thank you very much for listening